awesome, my name is Icarus Komu, and welcome back to Amnesia The Dark Descent. We are still trapped in this freaking dark ass place. I don't like it. We have what we came for. But the main problem is, there's a freaking monster in here somewhere. And I don't know where the door is. Why is the monster the main problem? Because if I turn on my freaking light, the monster will find me quick. More quicker than usual. Anyways. I think the freaking exit might be over here somewhere. If possible. Just because I think I remember the blood stain on that bridge. Except for, uh, it doesn't look like there's an exit anywhere. Oh, maybe here. He's behind me. He was behind me. He was behind me. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna stay around while he's freaking behind me. Oh no 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 no! You think I'm freaking insane? I don't think so. Where is he? Why? He was behind me. I mean, of course, it would have helped if I didn't turn left and I went right instead. Um, shut up, you freaking rats. All of this fog does not help either. Damn it. This isn't, no, this is the wheel. How do I get out of here? What the hell? Is there just no escape? My head's fine. Probably because I just keep running around, but how do I get out of here? Over this bridge? Find me. Here, maybe? Is this the door? This is the door. Oh, I found the door. Ugh. Ne remind me never to go into a core ever. Uh, S C H O I R. A core. However you pronounce it. Have I been here? Because the doors are shut. Yeah, I have been here. What the hell? Okay. Whew. Made it out of there. Man. I thought we were dead for sure. And don't tell me there's something else that I need to get out of there. I will be so pissed. Vite and Tempter. Tempter is other over the hands that prove more difficult. I don't think it exists in this world. I think Agrippa might know how to get I that. Do get it. Incredible. You found Vile's recipe. That there might still be a chance. Yeah? Alexander is working on opening a a door to another realm. It's where he wants to go. If you could put your anger aside, let him open the portal before you take your revenge. Let me pass the gate then. Please, find the ingredients that prepare the tonic via the sky. Okay. And do so before you assemble. Do so before I assemble the orb. Well, I mean, was there any other way of me doing it? Aren't I supposed to? Wasn't I in here already? Is there something else I need down there? Ah. Uh. Oh, there's center. Oh. Well, how do I make it move then? Can I bust it open? Kia! Never mind. 
Okay, no. Um, I did a little bit of reading, and uh, it turns out that all I have to do is tie this to that and uh, roll it down. The uh, Kirk, or the water creature, as we know him, because Kirk is just weird, really weird to freaking pronounce, he'll eat it, and then he'll leave a residue known as Vitae. Or not, no, it's not the Vitae, it's the uh, Tempter. It's the Tempter from the bone. Yeah. Okay. The bone is covered in mucus, also known as Tempter. So now we have the poison gland and the Tempter. We just need the Vitae, which is a little bit more difficult because we need to uh, get it from the blood of a human who is suffering. But uh, the only way to do that is to go into uh, Alexander's study and get from there. Unfortunately, I don't have Alexander's study unlocked yet. We have not been in here yet. How have I missed this place? How much more, Baron? How much more am I supposed to withstand? Kill me, Alfred! Kill me! This one, prepare him. So much more. All of the pain you must sustain. For Daniel's sake. Oh, okay. Oh, nice paintings around the place, by the way. Alexander. Ya narcissistic asshole. Got freaking paintings of himself just hanging around. Oh, string. Oh, this is Alexander's study. Okay. Well, never mind that, what I said earlier. We're in Alexander's study. We just needed the string. Okay. Here we go. Notes of torture. There are quite a few things to be said about torture. I had figured that the reaction I would get from the victims would be highly individual. Thankfully, this is not the case. The humans all have a very similar pr approach to dealing with physical pain and the terror of anticipation. I can't stress enough the importance of restraining the victims before proceeding. Even the most timid creature can break out of its in fits of violence where their strength exceeds their expected prowess. If power care, proper care has been put into breaking the victim, this should be not a problem for you, but it will be a hinder on the effect I am after. The right steps to take care of are, therefore, to restrain while the victim is still dazed, proceed by presenting the, f the form of torture you are about to apply, and then to continue with the actual act. The point of presentation is to infuse terror. The human mind is extremely effect efficient, as it will trigger itself into greater fear. Simply by imagining it, while applying pain, make sure to avoid massive damage as it will prove more efficient if the process can be sustained. Also apply the pain in doses, if possible with breaks to let the body settle. If you are whipping or cutting the victim strike once, wait for the pain to subdue, then strike again. As long as the body suffers, it will continue to produce the vitae and saturate the blood from with its properties. Only with careful performance will the victim yield maximum effect. If the victim does not have as ex or doesn't ha behave as expected, it is likely that all will be for naught. Before this happens, feed them the amnesia drink and try again later. Oh, so they just had the amnesia drink just on hand. Handy, dandy, just ready for a uh, good old Daniel to drink up and forget his woes. It's that good old gin, you know? Is it you, my love, I miss the most? Or is it perhaps myself? I know what I have become. I am not blind. I am a monster to them, a demonic sultan perched on a dark mountaintop. There is little I can do to redeem myself. The Black Eagle fears me, and after Napoleon's defeat, it is only a matter of time before they will demand my head on a platter. I must remove myself from this land. This time, I must work. It must work. If I can't return home now, I shall perish. What? Return home? Return home to what? Exactly. Let's go to this door. It's just kind of there. 
Hello? Anybody in here? Hello? Housekeeping? Closing the doors is a good idea. What is this? The kidnapper sat on her knees with her hands tied behind her back. She felt her hands being lifted and her body followed. Her, her shoulders gave way to the weight of her own body and cracked loudly. The suspended woman carried hysteri cried hysterically as the men contemplated their next step. Oh, that's nice. I picked up a piece of an orb. Oh, okay, that's how that works. They have a weight shackled to them as they're lifted into the air. Ah! And suddenly my brain is gone. Yay. Perfect, it's exactly what I wanted. Just keep running, just keep running, and I'll regain my sanity, <laughs> eventually. Not yet, though. I'm hurting. I'm hurting for some sanity, man. You got some sanity to spare? Because I could use some. What the hell is going on in here? Oh, another torture device. Great. Is there another light that I can light? Because it's not light enough in here for my sanity. Yeah, no. No. Okay. Oh, there's blood here. And it's just dripping. Wait, no. I'm supposed to combine these two and then hang this. No? Not there. Okay, fine. Whatever. Rapist hanged upside down, his tears soiled with blood flooding from his belly. The saw between his legs had lodged itself in the hip and wouldn't move any further. The men stepped back and waited for the victim to drain. Okay. Oh, oh, I understand. Uh... Well, I got the Vitae and all that good stuff, you know? Well, not yet. I have to, uh, I kind of have to refine it first. And then, then we'll have the Vitae. But essentially, we have the means to make what we need. So that's good. That's great. At least my sanity's back now, so we're not in such trouble. And I have no freaking clue how long this episode is gone because I had a little I had a little time where I had to read to go off and understand all this. You, you're a man. How can you partake in this? Is, is he all right? He is one of the wicked. Don't pay his lies any attention. I'm not. Are you sure they're lies? It was an accident. He set a man on fire. Oh, this is the man. The one that was like, hey, can't, why That's did he have to go in the, uh, the burning course. building? We are dealing with monsters here. And this is the one where they sit on it, right? Oh, I already, did I click on it? No, it's just more stuff. Okay. I'm kind of more interested in the machine itself. Thanks. Okay, here we go. The arsonist kept crying as he was slowly lowered on and off the impaler. It didn't take much to break him. They had meant for him to die, but the torturer was working beyond their expectations. It wasn't the method, it was the arsonist. He was different from the others. They could make him forget again. Okay. 
He probably really didn't want to die because he really didn't mean what he did. I don't know. What the hell is this? Hiding out on me, huh? Speaking of which, did I get the orb piece from the one room? I'm not sure. I'll have to check that off camera because I think that's enough time for this episode for now. Yeah. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode of Amnesia The Dark Descent. And if you have, don't forget to shoot the like button to keep it awesome. Look, stay awesome because you are awesome. And I'll catch you guys in the next whatever we do. Ciao!